Huh? What the hell is that? I don't recall there being a statue there. <laughs> oh! I guess we're doing this. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Yakuza Zero. If you guys missed last episode, um, we actually, at the very start of it, got a date with a hot girl who has hot information. Um, this episode, though, I guess we're starting off by doing this. Hello. Well, here's a well-made statue. What's it doing in a place like this, though? Pretty amazing detail, too. Where would they make this stuff out of? Huh? Am I hearing voices now? Whatever. This statue, though, sure looks lifelike. Doesn't feel like plaster at all. Oh, buddy. It's literally blinking! <laughs> whoa, whoa! What the hell, man? You're alive! <sighs> hey, no, buddy. That tickled. No touching, please. Think of my act like a classy strip club. You can look, but keep your hands off the performer. Performer? That's what I am. A street performer. I go by the name Toko Kichi. What I'm doing now is performing art. I'm playing the part of a statue, as you can see. Okay, I get the picture. You're really good. I thought you actually were a statue. Why are you doing this here? Oh, didn't you know? This area is the holy land for buskers. Holy land? The hell? Heaven, not hell. The heavy foot traffic means we get a very steady audience. And the locals here love a good comedy bit, so they have a great eye for quality. It's my lucky spot. Well, I guess if you put it that way, this bridge does have its benefits. So you're practicing for your act? Yes, that would be a fair description. Ultimately, I hope to be a street performer who inspires little kids to dream big. I think street performances are an entertainment that anybody can enjoy, from kids who just learn to speak to the elderly for getting words. I want to make people smile. That's a grand dream. Good on ya. Well, I wish you the best. I'll be moving on. Sorry to disturb. Oh no, it's fine. See ya. There's a guy who's got a dream worth dreaming. Hope he makes it come true. Maybe I'll check back later to see how he's getting on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe I will. Am I date over here? Yo, that boy chugging. That boy chugging the beer, baby. Glug, glug, motherfucker. Ah, uh, hello? Damn, I was fucking stood up. This fucking sucks, dude. This is where I'm supposed to meet Akko. I'll just have to wait and hope she finds me. <laughs> oh, shit! She has legs! You're Goro-san? Oh? You're Akko-chan, huh? Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. Do you speak English? Or Japanese? What am I speaking? It's Japanese. Shit, her guard's up sky high. She bails on me and I'm screwed. I've got to find some way to put her at ease. She'll tell me. You figured out I'm a celebrity, didn't you? Huh? Nuts! I guess not even a get up like this was enough to disguise myself from a sharp kid like you. It's a real curse being this handsome sometimes, you know? Ah, but don't clam up. I'll autograph anything you want. Just keep it our little secret, yeah? <laughs> I'm overthinking this. No way a goofball like you is the guy. Hmm? What guy is that? It's nothing. I'm glad you seem like the nice sort. I'm Akko. Alright. That's the first hurdle cleared. I had to rush things along, but you got time for a little chat over a cup of tea? Tea? I'm starving here. A uh, meal it is then. What you feel like? I'm craving some sushi. Sushi, huh? Figures a college, college gal like you ever find taste. Well, sure. These days you're a total bum if you don't have at least 50 grand on hand for a date. Goro-san, I'm sure a working man like you's got that much, right? 
course I do. Get ready, because I'm about to show you a piece most college kids can only dream of. Really? Koro-san's got it! Yay! Sheesh. I feared I probably wouldn't get in, get this info for free, but... Uh, gotta do what you gotta do. I'll pay whatever it takes. Alright. Want me to hit the sushi bar? Yay, you wanna hold hands? Can we hold hands? Can we hold hands? Where are we going? We're going up? We're going up. Going north. Come on, Akko. Oh my god, I want a date with a girl. You like sushi, Goro-san? Huh? I love it! I always get Uni and Igura deaf. No, 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 no. I'm blind in one eye, not deaf. <laughs> Silly ma'am. <laughs> oh, Club Venus! Are you waiting around for a reason? I'm starving here. Do you want me to run? Sorry about that. Just give me one sec. We're literally wa- I guess I'll run! You want me to run? <laughs> Make up your mind! I mean... I'm right here! Right here. Right here. Koro-san's right here, babe. Let's go. Guess we'll walk slowly again. Okay, you want to you wanna make up your mind? Why are you looking at the back of my head? Yes, I might have longer hair than you. That's what all the pretty boys have, okay? Fuck. Fuck. What can I get you for today? Give me 10 G's worth of your finest. Oh, and some sashimi for, uh, of today's best catch. Oh, and make sure there's Uni and Ikura in there. You got it! Boro-san, you not drinking? Well, I am at work here, technically. I'll pass for now. Way more interested, Akko-chan, in hearing your story. Seem awful at home here for a college student. Come to places like this a lot? I guess, yeah. Well, lately, I'd say once a day? Every day? Yeesh. You girls got quotas that strict? Quotas? What are you talking about? The best part of what I do is that I can work whenever I want. No strings attached. Nah, hold on. It's a job, right? If somebody's asking you to do it. I thought the guy running the show was Makimura, huh? Wait, I heard it. He's got college girls finding Johns through telephone clubs. Then he sweeps in and grabs their take. Huh? Makoto sounds nothing like that. First off, when most of us girls meet up with guys, it's just to get taken out to meals, nothing more. And second, Makoto sons never asked me for cash once. Wait, sorry. So you're not selling the goods, Akko chan? I'm not. Say, Goro san? You're not telling me that interview bit was a lie and you're just here hoping to get some action, are you? Yes, if so, sorry. Doesn't matter how much sushi you buy me, I ain't going to no hotels with you. Whoa, hold on! That's the farthest thing from my mind. I'm just saying those are the rumors I heard. Right. Well, you're making the right choice there. Anything happens to me and you're in a world of hurt. Huh? What's that mean exactly? Quarter of Kohata up. Ah, yummy! Well, I'm digging in. Yes, eat a ducky mass indeed. Don't get ahead of yourself, Goro. She'll be more eager to talk once she's gorged on Sotenbori's finest. Your check, sir. 20,000 yen! Like $200 in sushi, Jesus Christ. Thank you, sir. Please come again soon. Thanks for that! Sure. Ready to go? Alright. Feeling full and satisfied? I'd love to get back to the talk we were having. Oh! I want to go there! Go where now? The game center. Game center. What? You mean an arcade? Nothing but mysteries in there. You fit in with that kind of crowd? Arcades ain't like that these days. They got super cute stuffed animals and stuff there. Game centers have stuffed animals? How does that work? Let's we'll see when we get the to the arcade. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay. What is game center then? 
What? Okay. Um, Majima, buddy, we literally already got one of these plushes for a girl, my dude. Did you forget? Forgetting so soon, Majima, you crazy bastard. Oh, see? Right there! UFO catcher? <laughs> How's that? Use that button to move the little crane inside and try to lift the toys inside over to the ship there. Is it harder to go? Oh, that's stupid. Doesn't they make it hard on purpose, right? Why not just go buy the damn thing in a store? What are you talking about? You gotta win it here because they don't sell them anywhere else. You can't solve all of life's problems by throwing money at them, you know. Anyway, I'll pay for it. You just control it. I'm terrible at stuff like this. Huh? Huh? How come I gotta? You wanted to hear about Makoto-san, didn't ya? Alright, fine. Get ready, cause I'm doing this. Oh my god, am I gonna get another squirrel? Oh, I'm gonna get a squirrel, baby. I'm gonna get a squirrel, baby. Oh, fuck! Dude, I'm gonna impress her so hard, dude. I'm gonna impress her so hard? You kidding me? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! There you go. Hey, yo, I'm a fucking gamer, baby! Looks at her, shakes her. I'm a fucking gamer! Why is she scared of me? Why is she scared of me? What the fuck? Why do my dates always end up with them running scared? Got it. This is what you wanted, yeah? That's so awesome, Koro-san! Thank you! <laughs> Piece of cake. How about Makimura-han? Yeah? Let's stand around talking in a place like this? Let's go find some place we can actually relax. Well, that's a fair point. Let's head out. So, after the disco next? <gasps> disco? I don't see how anybody can eat that much food and still feel like dancing. <laughs> I actually just paid a call and reserved us the VIP room. I always wanted to see what it's like back there. Well, how'd you have time to do that? You're only making the most out of having free reign on a guy's cash. Hey, no whining. Bring me there and I'll tell you everything about Makoto-san you want to know. Well, alright. Can't turn that off or down. Let's roll. The disco's in Shofukucho! I'm sure they got a dress code there, but hopefully this getup will look the part enough. Okay, can we run? I'm gonna run there. Can you keep up? I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I was just told I could dance! You really think I'm not gonna fucking rush? I was told I could fucking dance. Excuse me, gentlemen, I gotta fucking dance! Fuck! Ain't telling you again, Specs. This is our patch. Always has been. Now clear out of my yard, son. Uh? You high? I had my eye on this bridge for a while now. Don't matter who was dancing here before. That don't mean you own the place. They're gonna fight. Did they have to take up the whole bridge? Got a disco to get to. Oh, this is part of the story. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi? Ah, Majima, there you are. Old man Kameki. What, you still out hunting for a place we can go at it? No, just out on my afternoon constitutional, taking in the city. Hmm, you seem troubled. Well, yeah, I gotta get across this bridge, but those punks are g doing a good job blocking the way. They wanna break each other's faces, that's fine by me. I just wish they'd hurry up with it. Misty cuffs, hmm? Knowing the rituals of their kind, I doubt things will take such a violent turn. Rituals? What, you know these guys? Judging from their attire, they are practitioners of the new breaking dance. The kids are so fascinated with these days. It is their custom to settle disputes by dancing. Dance into a certain dominance. What are they, some kind of horned up birds? How the hell do you fight with dancing? Just watch. There, look. 
They've begun. Watch their performance closely. Dude, oh my god, I forgot about this. Yes, yes, this is how the fuck to get the final style, which again, I will reiterate, is literally my fucking favorite fighting stance in this game. Kiryu, Majima, don't matter. This is the fucking one. This is the fucking one, dude. <laughs> this is incredible. Holy shit! <laughs> it's so good, dude! I fucking adore this fucking fighting stance. It's so fucking fun. And funny! at the same time. All rolled into one neat little package. A beautiful. Holy, that was dancing? Never seen moves that sharp. I wonder if I could pull some of that off. Yeah. Looks like my win. This bridge is, was, and forever remains part of the Areshi crew. Uh. Fine, keep it for now. But this ain't over. I'm gonna up my game and be back for blood. Is that guy in the back all right? <laughs> oh, seems the boy in the red frock won. Quite the sight, eh? An intriguing way of establishing pecking order. Yeah, not bad as street performances go. Playing koi, Majima? How do you mean? Watching them dance sparked something in you, did it not? The look in your eyes was hungry, ravenous even. Yeah. But you got eyes like a damn hawk. Yeah, all right. Still don't know if I can actually apply it, though. <laughs> What's ma that's marvelous news. Another thing to look forward to in our sparring. Sorry, but I'm kind of in the middle of something here. I get that you're raring to go with this. It's going to take me a while, yeah? <laughs> oh, out on one of those dates with a young lass, are you? You're a formidable man in many arenas, it seems. Yeah, oh, what? No, it ain't like that. Only teasing, my friend. But I have now, I have found our venue, Ashita Ashitaba Park. The park? Okay, I'll drop by when I get some time. And I shall be waiting. I will have my training to occupy me until then. Farewell. Bye. I'll see you in a shitty park. Crowd's clearing out. Let's let's hustle to the disco before something else comes up. Yeah, I'm ready to go as long as you can keep up with these legs, baby. How far is it? How far is it? It's not that far at all. Yes, Goro-san is way ahead of you, ma'am. Dude, I need to get the. Ma'am, we're going to the Maharaja right this fucking second, okay? If you can't keep up, that's not my issue. Hello, sir. The VIP entrance fee is 30 fucking thousand yen. Here you go. Chump change. Thank you, sir. Please, enjoy your time at Maharaja. Isn't this like the perfect place to come after learning the fucking breaker style? Or was that Chie Satanaka Persona 4 or what? Wow, I totally feel like a celebrity here! Yeah, it's pretty dead back here with just the two of us. Isn't the whole point of the room like this to bring a big old party, pop some corks, and cut loose? Sure, like I got that many friends. You don't? You fooled me. How many girls out there are keen on palling around with a kid who ran away from home? Or letting her couch surf. And the ones who are, their parents always kick me out. There's a few girls I've met through this job, but we're not the sort of friends who get together and party. That's why so many grab guys and hit the hotels just to have a place to sleep. But it's so risky. I hear stories. And that's why Mak Ma Makoto Makimura is looking out for the girls like you. No place else to go. Keeping them safe from streets at night? Still, some of the guys making those phone calls must be bad news. As soon as things go south, we put in a, a call to Makoto-san's pager. He sees that, then he comes to the rescue in no time flat. Huh? That's right, you said something about that earlier, too. Is this Makimura guy really that good in a fight? Oh, he's strong ain't the word for it. He's tall as a tree with muscles like a bear. Those guys get one look at him and they can't apologize and get the door soon enough. Huh. Sounds like quite the fella. Oh, I'm gonna go dance. What, had enough the VIP room already? 
Oh, I'm not gonna come to the disco and not dance, am I? Especially when I don't drink. <laughs> Still just a kid on that front. I guess I'll fucking dance too, baby! Hey, let go! I finally found you! I've been keeping watch all the places you seem to turn up, just hoping to run into you again! What? What do you want from me? Oh, drop the act, sugar! I figured I owed you for last time! You drag me all around town making me foot the bill, then when it comes to hit a hotel, you call your roided up buddy to come beat the shit out of me! You got what you deserve! Don't think I didn't see you put that pill in my drink! You think I'm gonna let a creep like that put his hands on me? What? You got your muscle boyfriend here with you today? You can go call him if you like. I brought my own friends with me this time. You're a real scumbag! Sticks and stones, baby. Hold up. The hell are you? Another one of this bitch's bodyguards? <laughs> you crazy? I don't even know that girl. I'm just saying you're in the goddamn way. Excuse you. Discos are made for dancing, pal. You wanna pick up chicks, try showing her your moves. You got any? I'll show you how it's done. Clear me some space. The <laughs> circus missing its clown tonight? Fine. You wanna dance so bad, you can dance with my boys and me. Hope you like break dancing, pal. Cause you're getting broke. Perfect. I was hoping I'd get a chance to try out that break dancing shit I saw on the bridge. We're taking this outside! Are we actually going outside? We could just we could break it down right on the floor, my dude. Dude, am I actually? This is how this is how they introduce break stance. Break, break stance. Breaker, breaker, breaker. What the fuck did I just say? I'm a bury you. Excuse me, sir. You're physically fucked. Hello? What stance am I even in? Switch to breaker style. <laughs> I adore this. <laughs> Pull out the freeze pose. Okay, trigger A and followed by a triangle combo and then freeze pose. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby! Use breaker style to finish the enemy with flare. Dude, this is the best fucking stance, dude. Ah! What the fuck? Oh my god, I adore this. <laughs> so much, dude. It's so good. It's so fucking good. Like, what the fuck is this? This is such a creative idea to come up with this. Oh, fuck! It's tricky, baby! <laughs> it's so good, dude. Hey, have you considered getting fucked? Because you should really get fucked, my guy! Fuck! Kuda is your name and speeds my game, bitch! Dude, that's such a fucking stance. I adore Breaker's stance. Oh, son, you're amazing! That was sweet! <laughs> This is another day in the life. Still, you best keep the whole milk and guys for freebies thing in check. I was here to step in this time, but your man Makimura Han may not always be there to keep you safe. Uh, you think, but Makoto-san's always real close by. One phone call, and he's ready to come flying in. That's so? Makoto-san's a chiropractor most of the time, but a place in so Shochufuku South called... Hokushi Kaikon. Really? So figure I could meet the big man himself if I headed down to his clinic? Probably. I'm Makoto Makimura. I finally nailed you down. Am I going to that immediately? Oh no, we're, say we're saying goodbye to our date. Akko-chan, you're a lifesaver. You really helped me out today. I'm gonna go interview the big man in person now. Oh, just don't tell him it was me who told you, okay? You seem nice, so I made a special exception, but details about Makoto-san are supposed to be super top secret. Don't worry, I got it. You really trust this Makimura-han, don't you? 
Well, yeah. If not for him, there's no telling what could have happened to me by now. Ain't that giving him a little too much credit? Besides, you can say what kind of ulterior motives a guy has for being so nice to so many girls. Nah, he's not like that. No way! Sotenbori's overflowing with girls that'll tell you it was Makoto-san who saved their lives. Girls who got tricked by terrible men. Girls who've been through all kinds of hell. Girls on the verge of suicide. To all of us, he's practically a saint. Doubt a guy that good? And you're asking to get struck by lightning or something. Oh, well, I guess there is one thing. Just a little favor he asks us to help with. A favor? Mm-hmm. If we're ever working and find a guy with a tattoo of a bat, we're supposed to let him know right away. A man with a bat tattoo? Who's that? I don't know any details. Sounded like Makoto-san's been looking for him for a long time, though. Makoto-san hardly ever asks for our help or anything else. So all of us girls working together to try to find him. I get ya. So that's why you perked up when you heard I had a tattoo. You got it. Using his girls to find a man, huh? Oops! I gotta go! I'll be late to a meeting up with the next guy if I don't hurry. There's a next guy? How much partying you doing today? I'll see you around! Bye-bye! Drop it on your parents sometime! If I feel like it! Well, I know where Makoto Makimura's at now. This ain't adding up right. Sounds nothing like how Sagawa described him. How's a total scumbag exploiting women for cash turn into a saint going around saving them? What's the deal with this bat tattoo? Doesn't matter. Saint or scum. I'm killing Makimura. That's the job. Should be at Hogushu Kaiken in Shofukucho South. I'm gonna finish this tonight. Yo, fuck, I guess we're fucking doing this? Yikes! Hi. Yo, Shades! Huh? Huh? Who? No, you're the guy from my WoW Bridge who was duking it out with the big dude with your breakdancing or whatever. Boom, son, I felt that! Huh? The hell are you exploding for? <laughs> that battle was sick, yo! Those moves got me seriously bugging! I thought I'd seen the best Sotenbori had to offer, but your skills are to the curb! Oh, that's what this is about? Look, I just tried out some random stuff that came to mind. It's nothing. The hell are you talking, man? It was like a bolt from the blue to me! A shadow from God! You gotta join my crew! We need you! Crew? Yeah! A Reshi crew! If you joined up, we'd be kings of Sotenbori, no question! A Reshi's the, a Reshi's the crew's name, and a Reshi's my name. So yeah, welcome aboard, dog. <sighs> Nuts? Why should I waste my time playing around with you and your friends? We'll find somebody else. I ain't playing, fool. Me and my crew, we in this for real. I'm throwing down every day. We gonna take out this town, then Japan, then the world, feel me? Yeah, that's great. And just how you planning on taking over the world by dancing on the side of the damn street? Hey, lots of folks come through Sotenbori. Entertainment bigwigs gotta be in the mix, yeah? You get one of those cats at attention, and who knows? I suppose it's not impossible. Got plenty of guys like that coming through my club every night. Yeah. Way I see it, if I want the big boys to take notice, I gotta stand out more than anybody else in this town. Do that, and getting my ass on TV is totally possible. Huh. That's some plan, and I figure into all that how exactly? It hit me while I was watching you battle, dog. We take your ill moves and pump up the volume a bit, we'll be crushing every other crew in Osaka. I already got ideas for a whole bunch of sick new moves. You get those under your belt, you'll be unstoppable, son. Huh. Don't say I care much about dancing, but I am pretty curious about where I can take this fighting style. And hey, you don't gotta give me an answer right now. Think on it. We practice in the alley behind Shofukucho West. You decide you're in, you come see us, cool? All right, sure. Shofukucho West, right? Maybe I'll drop by. Don't get your hopes up, though. Name's Majima, by the way. Majima-san, tight. 
We'll be waiting for you. You gotta come by sometime. Excuse me, sir. You just completely derailed the entire end of the episode. That is the end of the episode. As I just stated. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, please give it a like. If you want to subscribe, follow the remainder of the like, please do so. Also consider supporting me over on Patreon. Links for everything I just mentioned in the description down below. As always, thanks again for watching. Come back next time. The next episode should be very exciting. This is this is entering now my favorite part of the game. Like, I liked the game when I first played it up to this point. Like, I liked the characters and everything. I was... I was interested, but I feel like next episode onward is where I got hooked. So, I really hope that you guys have stuck around this long because, uh... It has taken a bit. This is a longer game, but... Oh, God, dude. Next episode, it starts like such a cool fucking story. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Come back next time for another episode of Yakuza Zero.